This tutorial is the last of a two-part series. You can use Excel to create and manage Oracle EPM Cloud Freeform applications using Oracle Smart View for Office. You will need your Enterprise Cloud instance, Excel, Smart View, and the application template. Here's my Freeform application. Here are the cubes I defined as well as the dimensions and attribute dimensions. If you run into a timeout issue while working with SmartView, use Health Check to optimize performance and get information about your machine. You can review recommended settings and apply them to your system. If you need to update your application, modify the application template file. Note that you cannot modify the application properties on this worksheet. When you create a new application in SmartView, all application management options are displayed by default to service administrators. Application management lets you update or delete the application you are working with. I'll update the application. Now I'll open planning. You can choose to hide or display the two options, update application and delete application, using the Suppress Application Management options in SmartView setting. Select Yes if you do not want application options displayed in SmartView. Select No if you want to keep the application options displayed in SmartView. Let's take a quick look at the application. Here are the cubes I created with the application. Here are the dimensions and members added to the Freeform application. Here's the scenario dimension I defined including the member I added when I updated the application. Members with assigned security permissions display a key icon next to their name. Let's take a look at the substitution variables I defined. Let's verify if the data loaded into the application. I'll open a form I created. Here's the data I loaded into my Freeform application. I can now start planning using my Freeform application or continue modifying it using SmartView or the web interface. Related videos and tutorials are listed in the description. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.